Ken Levasseur here. I thought I'd show you uh, the new updated baseball package. Two things I want to show you is how to, how to uh, install it on your computer and also uh, a few random examples. So you need Mathematica and if you have that you can download the files from this website right here and you'll find a directory called baseball and a file called baseball.m and they should go into a subdirectory of the user add-ons directory and you can find out what that directory is on your computer by evaluating dollar sign user add-on directory user add-ons directory uh, and put the files into the application subdirectory there's also going to be a directory that you download called RetroSheet that contains, among other things, event files and game logs. And you'd put those, with that, that directory, into the home directory. Again, evaluate dollar sign home directory and you'll find out where that is on your computer. So, once you've done that, it's all installed. There are a few other files uh, that can go anywhere. There's also going to be a README file that will give these instructions. So once you've done it, you can fire up Mathematica and to evaluate or to load the package, you evaluate less than, less than, baseball, and then this accent mark that's below the escape key. That'll load the package and you're ready to do some things. So I'm going to be do this quick. Um, a few examples. First, I'm going to load all the games from 2012, called last year. That takes a few seconds, and I'm going to focus in on one game for some of the things. And that game, I'll explain what is significant about that particular game in a second. Uh, so I've suppressed the output. The All Events 2012 is a list of over 2,000 games that were played last year. One of them is the 701st. I'm going to call it A Game. And that happens to be the game that where Colorado played Cincinnati on May 27th. And the What you see here, Colorado at Cincinnati on the date, is just a formatting of the, the game expression. Let me show you what that looks like, what the internal representation of a game is. Okay, It's a fairly long expression that those of you who are familiar with the event files uh, would recognize. It's just uh, essentially, essentially the, the event file with um, that's been altered to become a mathematic expression. So you don't have to really know this to use the package, but that's what it is. So one example of a thing you can do is evaluate home runs of a game. And in this case, you get a list of pairs here it's the the first entry in each pair is the ID for that particular game but the second entry is the play that identifies who hit the home run and other information about that home run so that's one example where we can extract information from a game uh, As I said, the list called last year is a list of all the games, and by evaluating length of that, we do can, you can verify that there are 2,430 games here that we're working with. So instead of taking focusing on one game, one, we, one thing we can do is uh, take the whole list of games and map the home runs function over it. But instead of looking at the actual list of home runs, let's just take the number of home runs, which would be the length of the home runs list. So. 
that takes a few seconds and this next input shouldn't be here I'll delete it as I'm waiting okay so we get a long list of numbers which represent the number of home runs hit in the various games so one of the things we can do is use a feature of Mathematica 9 which is to uh, use this uh, bar that selects that, that suggests further inputs for the further calculations from this output so for example it suggests doing a hist histogram which is nice we can get a histogram and here's where we can see that for example there are 375 games with no home runs most common is to have one home run 666 of those and so on all the way down to nine home runs on two ga two games or two games where there were nine home runs okay here's a similar kind of calculation with home runs only here instead of taking the home runs and looking at the numbers each game I'm just going to extract the count on which the home run was hit and do a bar chart so tally up the number of times that each count occurred and display with a bar chart again this takes a little bit of time I'm not going to cut the time just to give you an idea of how long some of these calculations take and shouldn't be too much longer there it is so you can see that for example quite a few home runs 843 were first pitch home runs uh, the most the ra rarest was the 3 and 0 on a 3 and 0 count there are only 30 home runs hit in 2012 on a 3-0 count. By the way, there's single zeros, so single digits mean no balls and for example one zero, one or two strikes. So very very relatively few uh, two strike home runs also as you might expect. Uh, so all these calculations you require using event files so restricted to the event file years which go back as far as 1945 not complete in the, some years not complete of course uh, some of the other things can you can do with the package don't require the um, the event files they only use the game logs for example season plot look, look at a season plot uh, of the 2012 American League West season showing Texas's collapse at the end um, these are a little bit out of order you can go back as far as as far as you want here's the 1918 American League pennant race one of my favorites and going back uh, the game that we just identified we can get a basic scoreboard of the game of a game that game where there were um, nine home runs hit which is a little bit surprising that the score was only seven to five. A lot of solo home runs, obviously. Okay, so that's uh, that gives you a, just a an idea of what you can do with this package. There's a lot more to it, uh, but there's a lot more left to do. So, if there's any suggestions or corrections, any bugs you find, feel free to contact me.